Hey, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to show you how to apply tax rates and tax rules on your Magento 2 backend. Great. So uh, before you actually do any kind of setup, you have to understand what are your tax rates. So what kind of types of rules and rates apply? So for example, if I'm shipping a physical good from a U.S. A US based business, maybe in California, um, nationwide to U.S., I need I, I need to charge my customers tax only to people who live and I ship to California. So based on that, I would set up some kind of rules and rates for only people sh I ship to in California. Um, for another example is if I'm maybe a EU co a company, maybe I'm in the UK or something, um, then I need to charge uh, I need to charge UK citizens a certain tax rate. Um, but also it might be that, for example, different types of products may have different rates. So for example, in e EU, uh, in Europe, there are many countries that charge a different uh, tax rate for digital goods, maybe a download or software or a map or something like that, and for physical goods. So you really need to understand what kind of setup do you have before you do that. Um, so what I want to do is actually walk you through a simple method. And of course, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help with the comments or, or any questions you may have. Okay, so right now I'm going to set up a California rate, um, a California rate a tax and show you how, how I kind of proceed. But before I do that, one more thing I want to add is uh, Magento will calculate your tax rates, so the tax rate for your customer based on uh, a few things. So the first thing is, of course, the uh, shipping information. So, uh, you know, who are you shipping to? What what a location are you shipping to? So that's the first one. The second one is what product tax rate have you set up? So when you go to a product, which we'll show soon, um, every single product has their own tax rate set up. The third thing is what tax rates have applied to the specific customer group that you've set up. Okay, So uh, when someone checks out, Magento will take a look at all of those things and then apply or not apply the actual uh, product. Now, um, it, so that, that's that's the main idea. Okay, so let's say show you how to do a simple a simple setup. So first thing is, I go to store, I, I go under taxes, and I set up my rates. So in this case, I just set up one for uh, California. <clears throat> Anyone shipping to California from my California business will have a certain tax rate. So in this case, I just set up. This is the unique name, so it's easy for me to identify. U.S. California, all locations. And I actually set up a range, for example, between the zip codes of 91,000 to 92,000. Now, in the case of California, you probably don't need one, so I will delete it. So basically, I will say all, okay? So use the asterisk and all. And the state I specify is California, shipping is US, and uh, the tax rate. What is the tax rate? In this case, I just specified 9.25%, okay? Great. Now, if I do have different store views, different languages, I can specify in the checkout when the tax rate specifies what is the translation right here. Okay. So now I'm going to save it. And now I have a new tax rate set up. So now I need to specify how does it apply? What is the rule that it applies? Um, so I can also export this and then later on I can import it. So I exported an example, just a simple, simple CSV. Okay, and then later on you can import it from a few different ways. Okay, so next thing I want to do is go to stores and I want to go to store, or excuse me, tax rules. Okay, and this is really going to set up uh, kind of the next step of how they apply to customers and to products. So I set up a new rule called new, for example, um, but new, in, in this case, I'm going to actually change the name. Let's just call it, let's say, retailer, maybe a physical goods, something like that. OK, um, so here I'm going to specify what tax rates apply for this tax rule, which later on will actually define again in products and in customers. Um, so I can add a new rate or I can edit them by hovering over or delete them as well. So if I edit this, that's exactly the rule we set up before, which is a 9.25%. Uh, same thing we just saw right before that. Okay. Um, 
So uh, that, that's it. Once I set up the name, I can click on save and I'm ready to move on to the next step. Uh, but before that, I wanted to show you that you can also import what we just did right here. Basically, we exported before an example. We can start filling up our ranges or states. Maybe I have different you know, uh, countries. For example, here's a country code, here's a state code. And I can fill them row by row if I have more than one country or state or or uh, rates basically okay um, so, and then I can just import it here once I click on import it automatically change this right here okay um, and exporting is just another way uh, to export the current ones that you've already created which what we did in the last step right so in the in the zones and rates okay um, in addition you'll have the additional settings to uh, be able to apply more than one customer tax class or product class. So for example, you may want to set up a retail customer, a customer class, tax class, and a wholesale and a VIP and et cetera, et cetera. For product tax classes, you may want to have more than one, maybe um, you know, digital goods or taxable goods or uh, to business or to consumers, you may have different tax rates. So you're just going to check box and select and edit that. So again, you need to really understand what kind of ta tax classes do you use. Um, and then apply them okay so now that we do this let's click on save great so now we set up our rates we set up a rule or a name called retail physical goods so now if we go to customers um, excuse me let's actually go to uh, customer groups under stores and other settings um, by default Magento will set customers into customer groups right so you can always add new groups but what if you notice when you edit a specific one you'll be able to see that a group maybe a not logged in maybe a guest uh, customer or a specific uh, group called general for example is associated to a tax class right so here is where you will actually uh, specify which tax class they go into so a, a very popular one is business b2b uh, you know businesses customers will go into a business one and custom and um, retail will go into another one but you can specify your own okay so that's the first thing the second thing is when you edit an actual product you'll have to set up the tax class for the product itself so let's edit just an example here on the site let's go to right here edit okay and now I'm going to scroll down all the way to tax class right here and I can select what is my tax class for this product does it not have tax at all because it's maybe excluded or is it one of the groups uh, that I just set one of the tax classes so once you set all of these information now Magento will use that for the browsing and the checkout in the cart to display the taxes um, that's basically that's the idea so you set up your tax classes and then it'll include it so the last thing you need to do is once you know once you set up your rates your rules your zones um, you can actually go to the configuration system configuration and you might want to change some of the actual settings for tax classes so I'll show you a few uh, popular ones for example so I'm gonna go here to sales and I'm going to go to tax and now you can see I have my tax classes my default tax classes um, how does the system calculate tax do they for example um, how do you a, a calculate taxes tax on shipping is tax on the total price of the product um, do you want to show the uh, actual catalog prices so on the site when people browse do you show them with tax or without tax you know depending on which country you are uh, that may be needed um, and you have a lot of settings here but the the real a uh, popular ones are what is the default country your um, your business is located in so how do you calculate tax from and then to the the shipping country or shipping state and then also do you want to display products um, with tax or without tax so it's a very very common one okay so you can do with and without right and uh, some of the other settings here could be very very helpful for you okay so um, look at this if you have any questions I'll be very happy to help with a specifics but and most of these settings are the popular ones are really do I include tax in the display when people browse and I uh, exclude 
okay and then of course do I include tax on shipping or just for product or customer so that's very important for the default tax classes um, that's basically it so um, hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions uh, if you want more clarification or more examples um, be happy to help and uh, last thing I just want to mention is um, two parts so the first part is um, if you have very complicated tax rates for example you're a larger company in US and uh, you don't want to maintain all of the city and uh, state taxes and all of the rates and know what changes over time you can integrate with extensions uh, such as Avalara for example which we've used on some of our projects uh, which really help you do all of that work by yourself so you don't really need to set up anything or import any rates you plug it in you pay them a monthly fee and you move forward um, so that's that's the first part the second part is in the future uh, I'll make a video for uh, VAT okay so for example for Europe uh, VAT rates how you configure how they get validated how business numbers um, get a validated and how they get set in, in groups um, so I can kind of show that again but I'll try to link that up once the video gets created um, so that's it so again if you have any questions please let me know I uh, hope you enjoyed the video thank you